All right, so first reactions out of the movie. I even talked to the two people next to us and they thought the same as me for the most part. A mixed bag, okay? First thoughts out of the bag. Listen to this spoiler-free review and um, I'll go into more detail, but for some of the movie I was like, but for a lot of parts I was like, oh my God. Yeah, let's just get to it. What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So, I came back from the cinema, what, an hour ago, maybe half an hour, who knows really. Um, so I just came back from watching The Rise of Skywalker. Um, it's like 4am in the morning right now and um, here's my spoiler free review of the movie. So the movie itself was a mixed bag for me personally. At first I thought, you know what, I'm going in with low expectations because it's obvious they're going to do this, 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 that, that, what not. But some of my expectations were not met and at the same time the expectations that were met were either done poorly or at times, you know, met. But while there were obviously, as I've said, a mixed feelings, some things I didn't like and some things I did like, overall I enjoyed I'd say majority of the movie. Yes, there are clear problems with it, very clear problems, and this movie is a lot. It is a lot. And that's why I'm thinking it's one of the movies where you watch it the first time, but if they make a TV show, if they make a book or a series of books they'll need to explain so many things, which I can't really mention right now, but I will in my spoiler free spoiler filled review this will enhance the movie the same way revenge of the sith is a lot happening and it continuing to the dark side the clone wars itself the order 66 and how that happens but then when you watch the clone wars it really adds so much more to the movie itself and also the previous two movies of the prequel trilogy but with this movie itself the rise of skywalker what i will say and this isn't a spoiler it was once again like the last jedi uh disconnect from the trilogy as a whole. While it does rectify a lot of The Last Jedi, that just makes it less of a trilogy and more of like seven, some of eight, nine. I know J.J. Abrams wasn't exactly quoted as saying that he's going to tie all the nine films together, but I just kind of thought and with all the talk about it that that was going to happen, it didn't really happen. The film really focused more as a tie-in between the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy and I'm sure maybe, you know, there's more I've probably missed in my first viewing. I am going to watch the movie again in a few hours uh, later this afternoon with one of my friends. There will be a video out on that as well and I'll do my spoiler filled review after that movie. So one of the major things about Star Wars is the CGI and the CGI in this was really good. The planets looked amazing, well everything I saw was really a spectacular to see, a spectacle to see. The one problem was at times some of the CGI was bad, but that's expected. Um, I won't specifically mention anything here. The music as well, a major part of Star Wars, it was pretty good here, but it felt like some of the music choices weren't the best in my opinion. There are moments which I really enjoyed them, but at the moments where I was like, you don't need that right there. So. It's definitely better than The Last Jedi, which I think had no really good scores. The only best one being A New Alliance. And this one, I have mixed feelings to it. And that's what I feel like I'm talking a lot about. My sister told me earlier, I've said a lot of bad things about the movie coming out. I actually spoke to two other people who were in the cinema that were sitting next to us. They both also had mixed feelings to it, more so leaning to like the, it could have been better side of stuff. But overall, this movie, you know, in my spoiler free review, it's a mixed bag. So let me know if you're going to watch Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Are you even more excited for it now that you're hearing news about it? Are you a little disappointed, especially knowing that I'm a big Star Wars fan and this is my reaction? Just prepare for when I actually talk about spoilers because there is a lot I'm going to say, both good and bad, especially if you haven't watched the movie a second time, there'll be a lot more I can say. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and until next time, I'll see you.